Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come ring in our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaved by his hands. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come in, let us bow, men low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Hard not your hearts as a mariba, as on that day at Passover in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me though they saw my work. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. For forty years I was weird with these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they end my rest. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge duly, manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully, in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host to the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Against you alone have I sinned. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. 
Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, and in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, as be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spend. In your goodness, show favour to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with honourable sacrifice. Holocaust offered on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Against you alone have I sinned. Lord, have mercy on me. We know our offences, Lord. We have sinned against you. Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is smitten with a great wound, with a very grievous blow. If I go out into the field, behold those slain by the sword. And if I enter the city, behold the diseases of famine. For both prophet and priest ply their trade through the land, and have no knowledge. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Does your soul loathe Zion? Why have you smitten us, so that there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but no good came, for a time of healing, but behold terror. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your name's sake. Do not dishonour your glorious throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We know our offences, Lord. We have sinned against you. The Lord is God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cried with joy to the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, come before him singing for joy, know that he, the Lord, is God, he made as we belong to him, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. 
Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal is merciful love, he is faithful from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord is God, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses, in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me. I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. In the morning let me know your love. In the morning let me know your love. Make me know the way I should walk. In the morning let me know your love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the morning let me know your love. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We may serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High, you shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. We have a high priest able to sympathise with us in our weakness, one who, because of his likeness to us, has been tempted in every way, but did not sin. Let us pray to him. Show us your mercy and compassion. Lord, for the joy which lay in the future, you willingly went to the cross. Make us share your death, that we may also share your joy. Show us your mercy and compassion. Lord, you said, let any man who thirsts come to me and drink. Give your spirit now to those who thirst for you. Show us your mercy and compassion. You sent your disciples to preach the gospel to every nation. 
Bless those men and women who devote their lives to preaching the gospel today. Show us your mercy and compassion. Help those in pain to know that the Father cares for them, for he loves them as he loves his own Son. Show us your mercy and compassion. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, let your light so penetrate our minds, that walking in your commandments, we may always follow you, our leader and guide. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.